calls from time to time from people that play chromatic harps um, that explain um, what's wrong with their harp and um, one of the biggest problems is that of an intermittent failure where one day it plays great the next day it doesn't and the next day it does um, and so I thought I'd make a quick video of one of those issues that um, is very difficult to explain on the phone but um, if I can make a short video then I can possibly show people point people to um, to what may be occurring um, it uh, usually occurs um, well it does occur on plastic combed harps this is um, the CX-12 it certainly happens on the CX-12 it's one of the most common ones that I um, hear it um, the failure um, is usually on hole one hole one and two um, but mainly on hole one on the blow on the blow note he say, say to me on the phone um, the blow note sometimes doesn't play um, and then it will play and then suddenly it'll be very very airy and then it will play um, and what's happening um, on that hole one I'll do a drawing here this is my drawing um, what's happening this is the comb chamber here this is the reed plate on the top and it's the wind saver on hole one the wind saver inside the comb that when you um, draw the note the wind saver goes down and because of the saliva and the heat it sticks to the bottom of the comb now I've seen this on a number of um, plastic comb harps I won't mention them all um, but it's where the, where the, um, the wind saver is very very long um, and the chamber is very very moist in there from you playing and when you draw the note the wind saver goes down with the reed um, and it sticks to the bottom um, and then when you blow obviously the wind saver should be in its up position to stop the air escaping out of the draw reed um, but it stays down and then it makes a very very airy sound and then suddenly if you blow a little harder it will pop up and then it will start to play again um, and it will drive you nuts so that's what's happened um, it's a very simple fix here it may save a lot of phone calls um, uh. so what I do here is you can see the tip of the wind saver on hole one is slightly turned upwards um, the actual um, position of where it angles up um, is past the slot so it um, doesn't affect the wind saver at all and just for good measure I also bend a tiny bit of the top one as well um, and that's good enough there to break the, um, the contact on the bottom of the comb to stop it sticking so I hope that, uh, that uh, it certainly fixes that problem so if ever you have a problem with the first hole on um, a plastic, um, plastic combed harp um, I haven't seen it on wooden harps but on a plastic comb harp um, just adjust the wind saver um, to, uh, to break that surface area and um, you shouldn't have a problem again anyway that's it thanks for watching bye